So this lunar ass here is absolutely the star of this tank. Um, but being a large boisterous fish that he is, he is the most wonderful and the most terrible thing to have in your tank. This particular one has a liking to attacking yellow tangs, which has been um, nothing short of a nuisance. It doesn't seem to go for blue fish or other coloured fish as much as the yellow fish. Um, these things eat like absolute crazy. Um, you have to watch them with corals because they're quite a strong powerful fish that knock corals over every now and then. So you just need to be aware of that. And you need to make sure the other fish get food. With these guys it is quite good to feed at both ends of your tank. Otherwise he'll often just come up to one end and just dominate that side of the food. So if you spread the food from one side to the other and also try and use sinking food at the same time as floating food then that actually confuses him a little bit so it's very hard for him to be in four places at once but he will try um, but these um, sort of fish become a pet and particularly with this one the owner is very very fond of this fish so on one hand would like to get rid of it so he can get a more diverse range of fish and schooling fish and, and not be worried about what he puts in the tank but on the other hand, he sort of loves it and doesn't want to get rid of it. So that is a decision that you do have to make when keeping boisterous, um, dominant fish such as this guy, who really is spectacular. The other thing that's very noteworthy about this particular one, or well, Lunar Rats in, in general, but particularly this one, is how much it can change colour. Sometimes it will be literally bright blue, sometimes it'll be much more green, and sometimes it'll be quite yellow, which is just amazing how they manage to do that depending on their mood or um, how they're feeling or what they're trying to portray so this is quite a big fish but can get larger how old is he yeah I think it's a lot older than that yeah if I was gonna throw a guess at it I'd probably say it's a seven-year-old fish it's not old but it's certainly not young either really looks like a parrot fish in many ways. Yeah. It's a fish that watches you as much as you watch it. Yeah. The only time I've only ever really seen the parrot in, in yellow is he, we didn't see him really for a couple of weeks. Yep. And we thought that he had um, come to his demise. Yes. Because we didn't see him at all, never came out for food. And then all of a sudden he just turned up and was like, hello, here he is. So he went missing for three weeks? Yeah, uh, it was probably two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Yep, that's something that wrestlers do every now and then. Oh, really? Yep, that's not, you'll, you'll hear that story yeah. with Rass. And they'll, whether they go and hide under the sand for a while, yeah. whether something spooked them, it's, it is really not unusual to hear that story. Yeah. And he, he's a brat because he. Oh, that, so that's something you definitely need to just be aware of. There's not that much you can do about it. But if, if fish like he does go and grab rocks and shower it all over the coral, such as this, yeah. it's not ideal. Um, one thing you can do to help remedy that too is if we do put a pump on it with oscillation. Yeah. So like wave pumps actually really help to knock the sediment or the gravel off the coral. Right. Yeah. See, right now with the laminar flow, um, the sediment or the sand can very easily settle on the coral. Yeah. Whereas if we do get this business going in the tank, yes. you find that it does help to dislodge it and oh, knock okay. it off. So maybe that's something we yeah. should look at in the new tank. It's interesting what you say about feeding him. I always throw in a couple of discs for him first. Good. Um, one morning he bit me. Oh, he'll try and bite you. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. I could see the mark on my finger, he didn't break the skin, but I could see the mark on my finger and I knew that he'd bitten me. You'll know. I used to yep. stick them on the inside of the um, tank, but he used to take them off and um, yeah, so then I learned to throw it into him and he grabs it and then I put in a little food. But he's really interesting the way and he'll swim around and he just keeps hitting and hitting until it breaks up into little pieces and then he gobbles up the little pieces. Yeah, smashing the food, yeah, yep, yeah. using his mouth like yeah. a, a tool. Yeah. Just amazing how much personality fish yeah, have. absolutely. And no one could tell you that fish don't have personality yeah. after you've kept them.
You have more personality than some people you know. He's a beauty.